Hello and welcome back to this Orbiter 2016 video series. This is Tex and this is part 5 of our flight from the Earth to Mars. Alright, so uh, in this part we've uh, encountered Mars. You can see it just ahead of us there. And um, we need to go ahead and uh, do an aero capture so we can get captured by Mars and uh, go ahead and plan on landing at Olympus Base. So let's get over here and hop into the cockpit and let's open the map MFD. We're going to open up over here. And hold on, let's... Alright, and let's target Olympus. So here's the base over here. Based on where we're at right now, we still have quite a, quite a bit of time left until we coast down to our periapsis and then actually do an aero capture and then could re-enter and land at Olympus. So it's midday right now at Olympus. By the time we do all of that, it's definitely going to be dark. Probably pretty close to or just after dark by the time we do that based on our current altitude here. And I would really rather land during the day. For one thing it's easier, but for another thing um, I think it would just aesthetically be much more pleasing because uh, the 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 graphics are just really amazing around Olympus now and really want to sort of show that off if you will. Um, so we can do, what we can do is just go ahead and do an aero capture maneuver and since we would have to essentially orbit Mars for a little while until day uh, comes back around to Olympus, um, we're not going to be as concerned about being in line with the base. In fact, what I would probably be more inclined to do is have our inclination instead of perfectly in line with the base have it a little bit higher actually so that we get more uh, possible solutions by the base sort of almost around the same inclination as the ISS has around the earth maybe even so um, right now we're perfectly in line with the base but you can see we we're not going to have very many close solutions because as our orbital plane moves across like that with our with mars rotating around uh it's just not going to provide us with very many landing windows and in fact the best one is going to happen during nighttime. so i guess based on the, the current time of the year that's just the way it works out yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So let's, uh, this part we'll just focus on uh, an aero capture maneuver, and then we'll set up a stable orbit around Mars. All right, so that makes things a little bit easier since we're not going to do a direct re-entry. Um, let's keep interplanetary open until we get just a little bit lower and make sure that our periapsis stays right where we want it at 20k. So, let's time accelerate. And it doesn't seem to be budging. It really shouldn't at this point. Okay, we'll enjoy the views for just a minute here. Oh, there goes Phobos. Okay, we're at a thousand time. We will go to 100. And there's 10. And periapsis stayed right where we wanted it, so that's really good. Wow, that looked great. I do love that. Okay, let's go. This is normal time speed now. Ah, oh, that's just awesome. Okay, um, let's start getting things ready to go here. Let's get back over here. We don't need interplanetary anymore. Periapsis is nice and low, so that's good to go. Let's go ahead and open Orbit HUD. Let's uh, make sure, go ahead and turn on Beacon and Strobe. 
Everything up here looks fine. Um, down here. You know, we can go ahead and put a little bit more of this fuel in the main tank. I don't think we need that much in the RCS tank. That'll work for now. All right, uh, so we have five days, 14 hours of locked remaining, so we have plenty of time to hang out in orbit until we find a nice solution for re-entry and landing at Olympus Base during the day. Let's take a look at the map again. Yeah, you can see it's already nighttime there at Olympus. So we're, we would essentially be re-entering around here maybe and somewhere in this range and you can see it's just it's going to be pitch black there. So uh, yeah, I'm confident with this maneuver we're going to go ahead and do. All right, let's open surface on this side and over here let's do our uh, load MFD. Put that up on the screen. I'm not going to mess with arrow break. We don't need that really because we're not re-entering. We're just going to do an arrow capture. So we can leave. Uh, you know what? Let's um, let me think about this for a second. We have so our current inclination is here. It's 15 degrees. We're currently in line with the base. So I'm not, again, I'm not going to be concerned. You can see we're perfectly in line with the base there. I'm not going to be concerned with staying in line with the base. In fact, what I want to do is sort of increase our inclination so that our orbit does like, like this, something like that. So we'll get some more solutions. Um, let me go ahead and get base sync open over here. So we just kind of get a ballpark figure. It's not going to be of any use to us at the moment. But once we're captured, we can start looking at that. All right, so for right now, we'll leave orbit open there. And I think that's pretty much everything we're gonna need. I'm not gonna use the autopilot for this. Rotation. We're just gonna use the uh, center of gravity shift. Let's go to the surface HUD. All right, we're at 165 kilometers in altitude. Entry interface is gonna happen much lower, obviously on Mars with a thinner atmosphere compared to Earth. So I'm not gonna worry about the radiator yet either. Okay, re-entry check fails, of course, right now because um, our radiator is deployed. We'll go ahead and start stowing that around 80 to 60 kilometers maybe. maybe. Um, I'm not exactly sure. We'll just monitor the uh, hull temperature. So let's time accelerate and let's get down and make this happen. Okay, we're under 80 kilometers. Temperature is still fine. So I think around 60K, we'll go ahead and put it up. All right, you can see the vessel's being perturbed a little bit already. All right, yep, this is a good time to go ahead and stow the radiator. Oh, well, it would help if we turn on the APU first. Radiator is stowed. Okay, let's roll over. Right. Let's put one tick in here of center of gravity shift, and let's turn off the APU. All right, you can see we're falling into the atmosphere now. Very cool. Slow time down for a second. Spin around. Awesome. All right. Now let's very carefully monitor our vertical speed here. Okay, well our periapsis is approaching. We don't want to skip out. That's very easy to do with Mars being such a thin atmosphere to begin with. So we're right at 30K. We can actually go down just a bit more. pretty crazy to think we're at 30 kilometers in altitude and we're just now actually getting any kind of uh, deceleration happening here just with this super thin atmosphere but uh, we are we do have a, uh, neg a negative rate here so that's good we are slowing down our vertical speed is within reason you see we're currently experiencing about almost four and a half G's so it's uh, uncomfortable but 
no big deal. I say that, it's nice and comfortable sitting here at my desk. I'm not actually experiencing 4.5 Gs myself. I'm sure I might feel differently if I was actually in there. But um, we've got uh, minimal heat on the vessel, so I'm not really concerned about that. Take a look at the map. You can see our inclination changing here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just go ahead and do a real quick... Let me get some negative vertical speed. And then we're going to do a real quick roll reversal here. Mock 25. So increase our rate of descent here for a minute because it will rapidly increase to a positive vertical speed when we do this roll reversal and we've been captured you can see the orbit MFD right now so let's go ahead and roll over probably be using AF control surfaces now too instead of wasting RCS fuel yes that works better Roll over, see our vertical speed's very positive right now. We don't want to skip out once again. Bring that back down. Here comes our periapsis. So we have been captured. What I'm going to do is just bring our apoapsis down somewhere around 300, 200k. Really doesn't matter, just a ballpark range, a reasonably low orbit. So it won't take so much fuel to deorbit and uh, re-enter at a later time. Let's take a look at base sync now that we've been captured. And let's set that to closest passage. Let's set the number of orbits to eight. the map. Mock 22. So we've already slowed down quite a bit. We need to get a little lower in altitude to have any uh, significant impact on our drop in velocity here. We need to get down into a little bit thicker air, if you will. It's, um, as we decrease our velocity, we have to get lower in the atmosphere in order to uh, essentially have enough dynamic pressure to make a difference on slowing down. Now our our orbital plane here is just about come back in line with the base. Mock 21. Let me go ahead and open an external MFD here. Mark 20. We need to be monitoring the orbit MFD over here. So our apoapsis is decreasing pretty quickly. Currently about 4,500 kilometers above the surface. So looking at the map, sort of looking into the future, um, somewhere around, I don't know, maybe six orbits into the future should be daytime at uh, Olympus. So if we can try and finish our aero capture with a reasonably close pass somewhere in one of these later orbits, then we should be good to go for a daytime landing at Olympus. back over here to the surface. OK, 
Okay, so we need uh, our apoapsis to get pretty low there. So let me center that center of gravity shift there. Bring this closest pass down here a little bit, real quick. All right, let's start rolling up. Our apoapsis has reached about the target altitude I want. Actually dropped a little lower than I would like, so not ideal, but um, let's go ahead and quickly climb out of this before it drops too low here. There we go. And we have a close pass here, four orbits into the future, or four orbits away. So we just sort of keep that relatively close as we can there. That roll over. that seems to be increasing it. Shouldn't be going that way. So we're almost uh, almost to an altitude with this velocity that we're not really getting much with our airflow control surfaces anymore. So Everything's centered. Let's turn that off. Go rotation. Uh, the ship's cooled down. Let's deploy the radiator and we can turn the APU off. And... Okay, so the radiator is just about deployed. Alright, let's turn the APU off. So we're above 50k now. We're out of uh, most of the atmosphere. Let's time accelerate. Okay, so what we're going to have to do now is coast up to our apoapsis and do a little bit of a prograde burn in order to circulate the orbit. Our closest pass isn't as low as I would like, but um, we can work with that. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. Okay, let's open orbit over here. We can close this now. And let's go to interplanetary for circularizing the orbit here. to orbit HUD. Okay, we're approaching apoapsis. Orient the vessel here. Okay, so we're looking at around 173 meters per second in delta V for this. Probably go ahead and burn here in just a second, right about now. Okay, so all right. Well, we're uh, we're going to be cutting it pretty close on fuel for sure. Um, I suppose a direct entry would have been better, but um, I I like a good challenge. Sure, why not? So let's take a look at our numbers. Let's put in our RCS, 113.2. So we have a total of 2,177 kilometers per second in delta V remaining. So with that, we're going to have to do a deorbit burn. And then after re-entry, we're going to have to use our retro engines to slow down and our hover engines to land. Uh, so I'm not sure um, how close it will be, actually. Let's go ahead and take a look at our spreadsheet. 
Um, okay, so actually, uh, I didn't put anything in here for encounter. Uh, pretty much encounter. This this was what we had in encounter, so we can put the same in there. Twenty three sixty six. The fuel was the same. Nineteen sixty nine point five. And then after capture, uh, the fuel. We did use some RCS fuel. Um, we did use some RCS fuel during the capture maneuver. I'm not sure how much we used. So what I'm going to do is instead of just uh, having two separate lines for capture and circulizing, I'll just put it under capture and it'll stay the same there. So um, currently, we'll call it at capture, we have 2177 in delta velocity. And the same for after circulizing. Okay, so let's calculate our fuel in kilograms. Oops. Need the calculator. Ugh, sorry about that. Okay, so our fuel remaining is 1690.5 in the main plus 113.2 in the RCS. Get over to our spreadsheet. So that's 1803.7 and 1803 point seven. Okay, so everything's entered in except for landing. So once we land, of course, we'll put actually how much delta V we had left and how much fuel we had left. And I suspect it's going to be pretty close. So let me save this. Um, and this is where we're going to go ahead and end this part off. Let's save. Okay, let me save the uh, simulator state here. Let's go to the map. So don't lose the... Okay, that's saved. All right, so we're here in orbit around Mars. Looks like we're about to have an orbital sunset. But uh, yeah, all right. Well, um, we'll see how well this this plan worked out in uh, just a bit because the next part we're gonna have to come back and actually land at Olympus. So. Um, yeah, so hang in there. We'll get back here. We'll find a, a landing window during the day. Go ahead and re-enter and land at Olympus, hopefully with enough fuel and hopefully in one piece. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, as usual. I really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.